that was Jingle Bells and that is what we're going to learn in this lesson in music and lesson and number four we're picking it up and we're going to adjust things up a bit and try and play an easy song which is Jingle Bells as you've heard. So first of all I want to tell you about the time signatures on music on music notes. Um, sometimes music will have a time signature of 4-4 four, four, as you can see in the music. This 4-4 four, four tells you there's four crotchet beats in a bar. Four crotchet, the number four at the bottom means crotchet beat. A crotchet beat is a standard way of counting. Sometimes we have different numbers and they'll tell you how long each count is and the number on top tells you how many counts you're going to have in each bar. So this one is telling you four over four, there's going to be four counts in this bar. Sometimes though you may get a, a different set of counting. For example, you may, um, let me take away the four four and let's add uh, a, a different, let's say, uh, sometimes you may get two four inside your music so then we have two four two four means we're going to count one and two one and two and one and two and in each bar other than two four we can also get uh timings like three four so that is one and two and three and four uh, sorry one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and but in the song we're going to be learning today we're going to be using four crotchet beats in each bar. So like I told you, the four at the top tells you how many uh, counts in each bar and the, f and the four at the bottom tells you the value of each count. So we have one and two and three and four. So which notes are we going to be dealing with? Now let's start to add some, some, some music notes into, into, the, into, um, into our sheet music. Okay. We're now ready to add some sheet sh uh, notes into our sheet music. So uh, let's start with C. Let's start from the very bottom. So that note there, C, in your left hand, play that with your pinky. The very next note up, remember music is written on the line or in between the lines. That's all. D, and it's logical because as, as we go up, we're going up on the keyboard. That's E. The next one is F. Next one is G. A. B. C. C in the left hand, the stem's facing down, but we also have C in the right hand. C in the right hand, the stem's face facing up. This is the same note, it's both C's. It's just this one is in the right hand, or but I say right hand, but it's really the uh, treble clef. Remember the treble clef and the bass clef right there. So we have C in the, uh, in the treble clef. And then we have D, the very next note. So play this with your, uh, play this with your index finger, that's D, and then um, E. Then F, then G, and A. Sorry, that's not A, that's B. A, it's more like there. And then B, and C. Oh, sorry, that's D again. <laughs> that's C, that is C. All these are crotchets, all these are crotchets, so each one is worth one and. So, um, if I'm going to count that for you, we're going to go one and two and three and four and. So we have four and then again we start one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. You see each bar is worth four notes, each, uh, sorry each bar is worth four beats. Now um, they don't all have to be crotchets like this, this one here, sometimes they could be um, the notes could be they they could be quavers, they could be uh, semi briefs, and they could be briefs. So we're gonna be dealing with uh, a different value note as well. So the other type of note we're gonna be dealing with is what is known as a minim. Um, uh, let, 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 let's get back to. Um, the minim would look something like this. So let's go back to C. That is a minim. You see it's different from the quaver and it's worth two. So instead of just one, it's one and two and this is worth two unlike, um, unlike the crotchet which is worth one. So that is a crotchet right there. And then a minim is right here worth two. That's worth one, that's worth two. And then the semi-brief here, that's worth, uh, sorry, 
Put a semi brief in there somewhere. That's a semi brief. So that that note here is worth one. That's worth two. That's worth four. So now we get into our song Jingle Bells. So let's start with the first line of of the, of, of of the song. That is Jingle Bells. That is three E's. The first two were worth uh, one each. So we're, we're going to add the note E in. Remember, note E is there. So one, two, and then the last one was uh, a a minimum. So then, so we're still adding up to four in this bar. The next line of jingle bells was the same. So we had the same thing repeated. Then we also have a minimum. So we're still on E. And then the next part of the song, we have all crotchets. So we have E. So that's E, G, then C, D. And then lastly, Lastly, we have a we have an E that is a semi brief. All right, so I've added some more music to the to the piece. So um, so we we ended on the E. So now we'll go again from the beginning. Uh, let me just like use a mouse director. So we we'll start from there. E E E E E E. e. That's E. Then we have F, 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 E, E, then E, D, D, E, D, then G. That's a G right there. Just uh, move this out of the way for you. That's a G right there. So then let's carry on making the rest of our song. So the next part to this song would be to add uh, would be E again. So after that section, we have E again, crotchet, crotchet, E, and then we have a minimum E. That is the same thing repeats itself again. And if you remember, this is just like the first bit. Another D, E, G, C. Notice this is all in the right hand. D, and then we have a a same. We have a semi brief right here. E. So from right right from this E right here, we have E E E. So the last part, the last part. So now the last part after that E there, that E there, was down. We come down here to the Fs. So D before the before the E. So instead of having this note right here, we'll have a D. Yeah, so that's right. 